Bless is a troubled series of games. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the travesty that is Bless Global. In my quest to play the worst of the worst free games on Steam, I somehow became fascinated with review bombing. After my video on Their Land, where I discussed a game that got review bombed due to some TikTok shenanigans that were completely out of the dev's control, I looked into some other review bombed games out of morbid curiosity. Bless Global is one of those games. However, to my surprise, Bless Global was not negatively review bombed. No, no. Bless Global received a positive review bombing. This startled and perplexed me. I've never really heard of a game getting positively review bombed before. I mean, except Garfield Kart. But let's be real, anyone who thinks Garfield Kart doesn't deserve this score is being unserious. As it turns out, Bless Global was positively review bombed so hard that Steam had to at one point completely purge all of the reviews when the game was temporarily unlisted from Steam. To this day, the Bless Global Steam page still states that 32% <clears throat> of the 118 reviews for this game are positive. This product has experienced one or more periods of off-topic review activity. The reviews within these periods have been excluded from this product's review score. What in the hell happened? I set out on a journey to find out. The entire Bless franchise has always been... rocky, to say the least. It began as a game originally announced in 2011, and was cancelled by its publisher in 2017. It was then announced that Bless would be self-published, and would release despite difficulties in 2018. At this time, two mobile games based on the Bless IP were also announced. Bless Global, as you can imagine, is one of those games. The original Bless Online officially released in Early Access on May 30, 2018. The game struggled for a bit and was shut down on September 9, 2019, so it really didn't have a long run. User base retention and size were cited as the main cause of the shutdown. The MMO was then rebooted and re-released in 2020 as Bless Unleashed. The, uh, the console version of that game has already also been shut down, yikes. Poor Bless was already off to a terrible start. But what about those mobile games that were announced? The first one, called Bless Mobile, was released in 2021 and generally received reviews ranging from meh to garbage. This brings us to Bless Global and all of its review bombing glory. It officially launched on January 10, 2023 on mobile and February 28, 2023 on Steam. Okay, I think we have all the release dates out of the way. That, that gives us a good timeline. Now, when I originally saw Bless Global on the Steam Store, I downloaded it and played it completely blind, other than knowing that at some point there was some kind of review escapade. So from my perspective of playing it, I went in thinking of it as just, in general, a video game. Uh, there is more to it than that, but what I expected from it was just general probably kind of bad free-to-play MMO, which is what it's listed as. The game starts you off with a character creation screen. G gender not available yet. With the history of Bless so far, something tells me it never will be. I made a barbarian version of Sonic the Hedgehog that I will someday have to answer to God for. I'm... I'm so sorry. Now, obviously, just from the launcher and the general UI of the character creation screen, I was kind of getting mobile port vibes, but I didn't really know what to expect. I certainly didn't expect the game to start playing itself the literal millisecond I entered the world. Now, I, I'm a certified mobile game hater, so I don't play a lot of them. Uh, I didn't know that fully autoplay games were like a thing, so, <laughs> you know, my bad on that. I, I, it's probably pretty common and everybody else is like super aware of it, but it, uh, it, it caught me off guard a little bit. 
Uh, so yeah, since the game literally plays itself, there's not a ton to say about the gameplay. You can manually control the character, but there's no incentive and not really much of a reason to. You can just click on your quest and everything completely autopilots. Uh, at one point, I walked away from my PC for a while to go make dinner and I came back and had made lots of progress, so... That's... that's fulfilling gameplay. If you do decide to manually control the character, the combat's honestly not terrible. I mean, it's just mobile MMO combat. We've... we've seen it before. The game describes itself as being an epic and immersive gaming experience. Nothing says epic and immersive quite like a... a mobile game that plays itself. Anyway, all of the typical stuff is there. You can dodge, there's skills in a skill tree, you have constantly upgrading armor and items, uh, health potions, mounts, levels, pets, blah blah blah, you get it. Except in this game, the game does everything for you. What's the appeal? Also, since this is a port of a mobile game, there are microtransactions and a gotcha component. In Bliss Global, the gotcha revolves around pets. I assume you can battle with these pets somehow since they have stats and stuff, but I didn't really get too much into the the pet stuff. But this little Angora rabbit looking pet nearly brought me to the brink of my self-control not to dump every penny I have into the gotcha system. The microtransactions consist of being able to purchase in-game currency to use on items and stuff, you know, the usual. I tried talking a few times in the global and guild chats, but uh, I never received a response. I, um, <clears throat> I think this might be why. <laughs> FYI, the all-time peak for this game on launch day was 466 players. At, on, on Steam anyway. I stared at the game running itself for a while until I got bored and started questioning what I was doing with my life. Visually, the game looks okay. Though to be clear, the game advertises itself as having console level graphics. I mean, I guess that's technically true because it it never specifies what console. Haha. <laughs> the music is actually pretty nice, but I it's certainly not memorable. Like if I heard one again, I, I wouldn't be like, ah, that's that song from from Bless Global. The story is complete actual nonsense, uh, at least in the English translation. It's definitely not the epic storytelling that the marketing claims. But I mean, who knows? Maybe the original Bless story that it kind of derives from is is pretty cool. I don't know. It, it might be. So there isn't really that much more to say about Bless Global on its own. Honestly, the history of travesties that Bless as a series has had is more interesting than the not great PC mobile port of that, that is Bless Global. But uh, we are missing some context here. Context heavily related to that positive review bomb we talked about earlier. You see, Bless Global is the world first triple A GameFi MMORPG. Uh, according to itself, I didn't know what that meant, but Google assures me that apparently it means that there's some crypto and NFT tomfoolery afoot. Huh. Doesn't that usually lead to negative review bombs? Okay, now I really need to know what the hell is going on here. Now bear with me, I do not know anything about NFTs or crypto, and there are very few sources that will explain it to me like I am five years old. So uh, sorry if I get anything wrong here. The game has blockchain technology that revolves around obtaining a resource called Coristal. Coristal can be used to earn the big boy battle points or can be minted into a black token. These tokens can be used to purchase mystery boxes that contain NFTs. You can also straight up purchase these mystery boxes as well. Apparently the game refers to this as a play to earn type of thing, but uh, 
I kind of doubt anyone is making any money off of Bless Global NFTs. I mean, maybe I'm wrong and business is booming, but I just... I kind of doubt it. Now, we run into a problem here as Steam does not allow crypto and NFT games to be listed on its platform. This caused enjoyers of the mobile version of the game to wonder, how in the hell is this going to work? Players asked, how do I use the NFTs slash blech I have minted in the PC version of the game? Bless Global responded, for now, you can't use them while playing on PC, but you can do so in the mobile version as game progress of the same account is synced across devices. So essentially, as you progress and level and earn things on the PC version of the game, in order to use the crypto and NFT stuff that you earned, you do have to hop onto a mobile version of the game to be able to uh, use it. So it, that seems to me like it's kind of just barely getting around Steam's rule about not having crypto and NFT games because Realistically, at the end of the day, when you're playing this game on Steam, you're still earning and working towards crypto and NFT. So, I mean, it is still kind of an NFT game. Now you ask, what does all this NFT BS have to do with that positive review bombing? Why, I'm glad you asked. It's quite interesting. On March 3, 2023, literally mere days after launch, Steam unlisted the game and purged the reviews harder than Arthas purged Stratholm. This entire review section must be purged. What? It's not 110% clear what exactly happened with all that unlisting stuff. On the Steam page, it kind of was implied that the unlisting was mutual between Steam and the developers. However, on the Discord, the developers were clearly scrambling, trying to figure out how to get in contact with Steam to make sure that it gets relisted. So it didn't really seem to actually be a mutual thing. There was some debate on whether that skirting the line of crypto and NFT was what caused the game to become unlisted. However, the biggest contributing factor appears to have been, allegedly, caused by Bless Global being caught red-handed bribing players with said crypto and NFT garbage to leave positive and recommended reviews on Steam, as stated by MMO Fallout over on Twitter. Hmm. Well, that makes sense how they got so many positive reviews, because uh, it certainly wasn't the game that caused it. Buying and raffling stuff in exchange for good reviews is uh, pretty dubious. Also, it's kind of weird that the game had to specify that you cannot use the blech and NFT in the Steam version of the game, yet they were offering blech and NFT as a reward for leaving a good review on Steam specifically. Am I, am I the only one that thinks that's weird? Now, being unlisted certainly isn't the worst thing that could have happened to Bless Global. Considering that it's just barely skirting around that NFT crypto ban, but being unlisted so early on in the game's launch cycle does mean that it missed out on a lot of exposure from that sweet, sweet new and trending tab on Steam. The Bless IP really just keeps taking hit after hit. Maybe it's time to rebrand as Curse. <laughs> if we take a look at some of the real reviews that remain, Things uh, aren't looking too hot. Let's just say trash and garbage are extremely commonly used words. There's also a lot of people throwing around the word scam because it seems like the community is a little worried that Bless Global might go the way of the original Bless games. It would really suck to invest so much time, money, crypto, whatever you're investing into this game just for it to shut down. So there you have it. Just like their land didn't deserve the negative review bombing, Bless Global certainly didn't deserve the positive review bombing. Now, like I said, I did get weirdly fascinated with all this review bombing stuff, and I find it pretty interesting. I have a lot of fun making videos like this, and if you find it interesting too, let me know in the comments and I'll find another review disaster to talk about. Or uh, if you happen to know of any particularly heinous review bombs and uh, want to leave it as a suggestion, you could, you could do that too. 
Thanks a ton for watching. Consider subscribing so that we can keep an eye out for the 56th re-release of Blessed Together. This entire review section must be purged. What?